everybody. Welcome to Embellish the Story. Thanks so much for dropping in today. I thought we would do a little craft together and make these cute little matchbook style booklets. But before we get to that, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate your support and I'm really grateful that you subscribed. So today I wanted to make these little matchbook style booklets. They can be any size you want them to be. They're just super cute to put in a journal. They're just a great little add-on. Um, this one, I put some Zoli in the front and then I just put some papers in here. They're just a cute little whimsical addition to a journal. They're fun to decorate. They're probably my favorite embellishment to make. So here's this one, I put that Zoli there and some papers. So they're a great little place to make notes in your journal to make a, a you know a special little dedicated part of your journal to something maybe gratitude in these books. All right so these are really simple. I don't have any specific way I do it as far as size goes. In general today the ones we make are going to be eight inches by three inches. And I've already cut strips of paper that is eight by three. So I have three eight by three strips of paper. This came from one piece of standard eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And on the back, I just printed polka dots. This is actually left over from my baking journal. This was a piece of paper left over. So they're eight inches long by three inches wide and I just cut them by hand. My paper trimmer is actually packed up and I can't find it. I had to move out of my craft room, or I have moved out of my craft room into a little space for now and I haven't found my paper trimmer. So I just cut these eight by three and we're going to fold up a piece at the bottom to make a place for this to tuck in. And that generally is about three quarter of an inches high. So I'm just going to look and see what, where about three quarters of an inch is gonna be, which is gonna be right above this polka dot. So right about right there, I'm just going to make me a little fold. So I really do not have real specific anything I do for this. Um, I just basically eyeball a lot of stuff. All right, so that's the bottom of the booklet. So I'm just lining them up and then folding in that general area. All right. So this is where we're gonna stick our papers. And we just stapled this, so it's really easy to make. And these, because I hand cut these, they are not straight, but we're gonna put some lace there so it'll it'll um, cover that up. All right, the next thing we need to do is make sure that this part can tuck in and stay securely. So I'm just gonna tuck that in and then I'll fold it once it looks like it's going to be pretty good in there. The, the staple's going to be about right in the middle of this rose. So if I put my finger about where the staple's going to be, it would tuck in about right there. So then I'm just going to fold. So if I put the staple about right there, tuck it in so far, and then just fold it. So I'll put the stuff up right here, tuck it in, and fold it. All right, so there is the um, general, there it is. And all we have to do is slip in the pages. Also, I haven't found my bone folder, which honestly, I use the back of this, the handle of the scissors more than a bone folder. So, I 
have some papers left over from that same journal making. I did um, I cut them about three inches wide. It and they just we're just gonna staple them in. So again, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and pull that back, and I'm gonna cut them. I've gotta cut them underneath this because if I don't they'll catch when I fold it. So I'm just gonna cut it a little below. Let's see how that's gonna do. And that looks perfect. So usually about five or six. So there's three pages, three pages. So here's about six. And just stick it in. And then we're gonna staple. Now we need to make sure that that can tuck. So I can't, I've got to staple it right in this area. So what I'm gonna do is just come down and just do it like so. those are in there good and I have my little booklet now these are kind of hanging out so all I have to do is trim them come on, come on guys okay and they'll be fine all right so there's one little booklet and I need six papers for the other I have these pretty little they're just notepads I don't know where I got these, but I've had them for a while, and they would be pretty in there. So I think I might cut down at least one of those to go in this booklet. It can be any kind of paper. This is a great way to use up those strips of paper that are left from cutting paper. I have this coffee dyed paper. It was just like a little piece of a notebook, so I think, and I had, I, I coffee dyed it with a dolly laid on top of it as I baked it. It kind of makes a cool design, so I'll put a piece of that in this one. Um, even parchment paper is fun and crinkly, and it's fun to put in these, so I'm going to put a piece of that in here. three, four, there's six pages. So I'm just gonna kind of stagger them. I'll do this pretty paper up front. It doesn't matter if they're even, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I like the unevenness actually. I, I actually prefer it. So now I have this little stack of papers that I can staple in this one. So I'm gonna leave frame for that to tuck in. So I'm gonna go down here, staple, staple, staple. I'm not sure that'll tuck. And it does. And then I need to trim those a little bit too. Okay. See, these are just fun to make. They're relaxing. I can sit and make 10 of these at the time. If I have the time to do it. I think I'm going to do this one with the polka dots on the outside. I think I'm going to swap it. I don't know, that other is so pretty in it. Okay, let's just do the roses. All right, such pretty paper. So I'm gonna take these. This paper. It's too tall. 
yeah. Can trim it down a little bit. That's good. There's another piece. of papers. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six. They don't have to have six. It can have as much as you want it to have. Um, I can, I've even folded a, a little glassine bag and put it in there and I had it was so it made like a little pocket in there and uh, I put twenty dollars in it in a journal that I gave to my niece it took her a while to find that twenty dollars I mean like a couple of days I was like did you ever find a surprise she said no no I was like we'll just keep looking it was stuck in the little matchbox um pocket it was a bag. So, three staples. Two, I'm, I'm sure two would be very sufficient. And then I probably need to trim this. Maybe not. Trim that a little bit. All right. And then make sure that tucks. And it does. So, they're very flat. They're not like a real matchbook in that um, there's a gusset up top. They're just like a real thin matchbook. Now, I originally saw this tutorial on A Trace of Sparkle with Jennifer Stevens. And if you've not seen her, she is so good. And I learned so much of what I do from her. So, I'm really grateful to her for sharing her gift with us. And um, I'm just going to ink them. So, I just go around and I just ink it. Probably should have done this before I ever assembled it. But I just ink it so quickly. And, um, so that's basically how you do it. And you see, they just come together really quickly as far as the basic structure. Now, the actual Decorating is a lot of fun too. And so what I generally use is some of my smaller ephemera pieces and some of my smaller pieces of lace. So it's really easy to use up some of those little pieces that I've been trying to get rid of. So I'm gonna do a, a different video that'll be uh, posted after this one on decorating these little matchbooks. Any way you want to decorate, it's fine. This is how I chose for these. As you can see, none of these are the exact size of the ones that I originally showed you. They're a little bit smaller than both of these. This is probably the perfect size, the 8 by 3 size. Okay, y'all. I am so glad you came by today to work with me. It's always more fun to have friends along. And I hope you make you a few little matchbook booklets, little match booklets. And then join me when we decorate it. We're going to do some layering. I'm going to gather some of my small ephemera. That's, um, it just kind of piles up. I'll buy a really pretty kit and then I'll have a ton of ephemera and I don't use it all. So I'm going to use some of that and kind of clear some of that out. So I hope you have a beautiful day today and enjoy the rest of your day. And always remember to embellish the story. See you next time.